year to everyone. Hope you have a blessed and a prosperous new year and a COVID-free new year, 2021. Anyway, this time we will show you some excerpts of, um, of uh, highlights of some of the shows that we did this year. And uh, I'm sure you'll like it. There you go. Watch it. Pilar and Friends, the title of the show, is a collaborative effort of friends who have gotten together online as the times call for. We seem to have the same prodding to come up with an online program which would bring important information to you. Our world has drastically changed in the last six months. But let's not forget that though the world has changed, our God remains the same. He's the same God yesterday, today, and forever. And when there is God, there is hope. We want you to know there is hope. As you watch every episode of Pilar and Friends, you will know more about it. So please click subscribe, like, and share to your friends. For you, for the fam, and friends. So, share away. Oh, hope? Okay. It's a big promise, but I hang on to this promise. And this for me is what hope is all about. And this is certainly the beginning of more assignments for us from the source of all our strength. Therefore, let's continue to hope because hope is stronger than fear. Let's not forget. Let's not lose hope. Let's just store it in our hearts. So instead of just sitting down, doing nothing, hey, one of the things that I always tell you when you're, when you're feeling sad, when you're feeling depressed, get up. Get up and do something. Small wins, small victories during the pandemic. It can be as easy as making up your bed, preparing breakfast, going through with the day. Grabe, God is so amazing kasi may plano siya sa buhay natin. God will not allow na mapahamak tayo. When the pandemic started on the following day, God gave me wisdom that I will sell seafoods. God provide the supplier and pampuhunan for me. Ganon kumilos ang Panginoon on a silent way. Hindi ka na kailangan ma-stress kasi yan ang pangako niya sa bawat buhay natin. Being able to survive now, it is within me to actually help in the best way that I can. To help educate people about this disease and how to live with it. Because after all, this disease is here to stay and you just ought to know how to take care of ourselves so that all these, all the conditions that I have felt may be prevented and hopefully many will end up surviving instead of losing their lives. So I decided to use the kitchen in the Among Balay, separate kitchen, so I can make a lot of food and take away the food and order the food so that we have the income so that we have the food 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 I realize that even if our actions are limited to a certain place during this pandemic, we can still be positive. We just need to focus on the good, focus on self-improvements, focus on the things that you love, the things that makes you happy, because that's the only thing we can do now, helping ourselves to live one day at a time. And as taught in medical school, the most vulnerable chain in the chain of infection is the mode of transmission. That is why hand washing, social distancing, and wearing of masks is highly suggested. As for me, ang experience sa akong mga anak, matraumatize sila because they are in their own. May maka-assist, may makagay, but somehow, nakat-on sila of self-reliant, resourceful, and independent. Well, sa atong sitwasyon karon, I'm sure our pupils have gone through different experiences depending on how they are in their own homes. Naayuban 
Nalipay na intak sila sa balay samtang nagtuon o nag-answer sa ilang module. Some also find it frustrating because our children are used to face-to-face -face learning. Mao nga dakong gud kaayo ang papel sa atong mga ginikanan karon sa pagtuon sa ilang mga anak in the absence of the teacher physically. Ang dakong hangyo sa atong mga ginikanan na magtinabangay ng yunta para mapadayon ang edukasyon sa atong mga anak ubos aning atong masinati karon nga pandemya. We have to accept the reality of death. The Bible says that we came from dust. And we are also told in scriptures that to dust we shall return. Now that is reality. We have to accept it whether we like it or not. And I think there are a lot of things that are going wrong in this world right now because of a failure to accept the fact that each and every person will enter that door which is called death. And so we have to make people realize that this is really part of earthly existence. When is this going to end? No. Uh, what's in the near future of COVID? And uh, I told them frankly, I really don't know. If there's an answer for that, God only knows. Okay, sa pagkagaroon, well, COVID is still around, uh, really have to be vigilant. No? And then, kung sa pangutan na, when is this gonna end? Kung itakibang. So, uh, complacency is our number one enemy. No? Karon, uh, uh, while we are celebrating a little victory, kusay, makita niyo mga mga tao, they tend to be relaxed na. But if you look other countries, no? In Europe, even in England, they shut down. And while Americans are, 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 are you know, Gunning for the elect presidential election, their cases are going up. Pag abot na naan na kay symptoms, mugawas na uh, pwede na madetect ang PCR. Morning PCR na itong pasabot, no? Unya, on the third day of your symptoms, mas, mas daghan naman ang COVID si mong lawas, mas sensitive na ang ato ang test, mas dali na siya makadetect, no? So, ang importante yan, kinangin na itong ibawaan, kanyang PCR or swab, dili sa di siya 100%. Kay Kibauta, sa kaning pag-test na to sa COVID, timing is of the essence. Timing is everything. So again, importante, makonsulta kita. Dilita mo treat based on just the test alone. Go ahead. The virus is still here. No? So we need to continue all the preventive measures. So please wear your mask, your face shields, uh, social distancing, and still wash your hands. Very basic, but they save, uh, they save lives. No? Okay. How about you, doctor? Well, at the end of the day, um, wearing a mask does not have to be something very dreary. So we can have fun wearing masks. So a reminder to everybody to just wear a mask. Before we can answer this question, we should assume that the father was admitted not because of COVID, but because of underlying illness. And that underlying illness must have been very serious or else we would not have risked being admitted to a hospital. With that said, we have to know if there is a cause of action. Meaning, was there any neglect on the part of the doctor or the hospital? And we have to find out with these questions. It just means to say that in the short term, we can find a solution while we wait for the mid and long term uh, infrastructure to be completed. I cannot find other ways other than what I have mentioned and perhaps a, a forum for discussion would be the right way to encourage better ideas. But I don't claim to have a monopoly of all these ideas. What I'm just trying to say is that in my perspective, having seen what I have seen in my work with uh, the Cebu City Traffic Office in the past, my private uh, experience being in different countries while working for a multinational organization, and the statistics, the challenges, and the nuances I see today being the regional official of land transportation. These are just the thoughts that I can share. So I hope that a better and, and more active and dynamic dis discussion can take place on what we can do together to solve the public transport 
crisis or the problem that we are seeing in a post-COVID scenario? Well, I would definitely love to, you know, um, tell these budding designers and future generations in fashion, um, particularly in Cebu, um, uh, to actually just, you know, follow your heart and um, go to that direction where um, you feel that you really, really belong, whether in fashion design, in textile design, styling, or um, anything um, in the fashion industry. And, um, you know, let's all realize that, um, you know, there's something um, else out there, not just in fashion, but beyond it. So maybe just explore, um, you know, um, uh, consider other realms of the arts, um, and, you know, who knows, you might find that path uh, going to and leading to, you know, your real fashion destination. Um, my personal encouragement. Well, to the rest of my fellow artists, let me quote this one verse that I want to share. John 16, verse 24. Until now, you have not asked anything in my name. Ask and you shall receive and your joy will be complete. I can assure you that your joy will be complete. You just have to believe, you have to believe in yourself and have faith, trust in God primarily, of course, and keep on doing what you believe that can make good to our society. And uh, always think positive avoid negative thoughts. So but before I go, I would like to share with you this verse, Isaiah 43, 18. Forget the former things, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. A happy, happy new year to one and all.